John, known as the Pain Point Coach. Welcome to this presentation on flow. I recommend you stop this presentation from time to time by pressing pause so you can read all the content in each slide and then take some notes for yourself as you move forward. Which of these quotes do you prefer? And which one represents for you what flow actually means? Please select one and write it down. Most people have experienced flow, and that's not unusual. Take, for example, a project at work, and you're totally absorbed in what you're doing. You lose track of time. You don't eat. You don't drink. Welcome to flow. If you're going to hold on to limiting beliefs, you will not experience flow. I love this picture because this old girl is certainly showing no limiting beliefs to herself personally. When in Thailand, I noticed really big, big elephants tied to trees by the flimsiest of cord. I asked, how come the elephants simply didn't break free? It was explained to me. When young and much, much smaller, the cord had the strength to retain the elephant. And so the elephants, as they got older, retained that limiting belief. And so it impacted the rest of their life. What limiting beliefs do you keep? I want you to draw a stick man on a piece of paper and attach an anchor to the leg of the stick man with a cord. And then write out your limiting beliefs. And then I want you to cut the cord with your scissors and let go of your limiting beliefs. The more you're willing to let go of your limiting beliefs and not be self-conscious about what you're actually doing, you stand a greater degree of opportunity of entering the flow zone. 